Battle Brothers, 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 Battle Brothers. Hello and welcome to the Bristly Stranger. We're back. We've made our way to Dornan. We did stop in at Erlach. There was a couple of contracts there. One was to head right up north with the package. Don't really want to do that. The other one was to hunt down what terrorises Erlach, so we're definitely heading back there for that one. I did want to sell our stuff though. We need to buy tools, we're nearly out of them, and our food is getting dangerously low. Ammunitions? Okay, 76. I want that to be a lot higher, really. We do a lot of shooting. In Erlach, shield price was 12 for an undamaged shield. Dornan, it is much better. So I've come here first. We're going to offload all of our stuff. We still had a little bit of carrying, but I don't really like carrying too much loot. If we ever had to throw anything away, it would feel like such a waste. We have still got the level ups to do. I think it was Kettleman and Mr. Duck. Got to do both of them. So let's get on with it. I think I'll do level ups first, and then we'll head into town and see what's in there. So with Mr. Duck, obviously we're concentrating on his resolve, because we want that to be as high as possible. With him being the Bannerman, his resolve is carried over to people so many tiles close to him. I think it's three, maybe four, I can't remember. So the higher the better. We could have took Gifted to boost it even more, but I've took Polearm Mastery. I'm not entirely sure how useful this is going to be. It means that his Polearm, or the Banner in this case, because it counts as a Polearm, is going to cost 25% less fatigue, which is going to keep him in the battle a lot longer but also it reduces action points from 5 to 6. Well, that's really good. I'm not sure what other skills he might be using. It might be a little bit of a waste, this polearm mastery, but I like it. He has got rally, but of course that costs a lot of points as well. He's not going to be able to do both in one turn. And we also have Kettleman. I've gone for Overwhelm with him. There was a couple of other perks. I wouldn't mind Colossus, Recovery, or even Gifted with him. But actually, Overwhelm is fairly powerful. When he does get his three attacks with his dagger, every attack, hit or miss, is going to lower the target's melee and range skill by 10%. So if he's attacking three times, they're at minus 30 to both of their skills, reducing their effectiveness and their chance to hit us back. This does stack as well, so if we have multiple people with this skill, they can all inflict it on a single target reducing their effectiveness. I'm not sure if it goes all the way to 100%. That would mean they would never be able to hit us. If we do want to farm gear, this is a really good perk to avoid them hitting us back. So we are certainly taking this with Kelman. In the marketplace in town, we haven't got any tools. Everything's a little bit pricey here. I'm going to go through and sell our stuff though. Probably keep some of our taxidermy stuff quite a lot of that, but shield price here is 20 for an undamaged shield. That is so much better than what we were getting in Erlach. So I'm going to sell through all of our chod that we don't need. Anything that needs repairing we're probably not going to keep, unless it's super useful. I've got my eye on one or two things over in their shop, but I'll come back once I've made the decision of what we actually want. So even after buying a few bits and pieces, we've got some ammo and lots more food. We have still got eight and a half thousand crowns. So I'm looking to upgrade some of our guys a bit. We've got Sir Conrad here at the bottom. He's an adventurous noble. He does cost nearly 4,000, but he will be level three. His daily cost is pretty high, but I'm okay with that. He's got a good shield, the ax, not bad. The helmet will carry over to our archers, and even his body armor doesn't look too bad. I think we're going to take him, and we're going to keep our fingers crossed that his stats are pretty good. Okay, so here's Sir Conrad. He's not too bad. He's got pretty good starting stats. His defenses are really high because he's got that big kite shield. He's got a star in missile defense and on his missile attack, so he would be better as an archer. His resolve is also quite decent, he's got a star in that as well. He's not a bad attacker, 
So he would be a really good pikeman. But that means we've got to get rid of somebody. At the minute, it looks like it might be Dieter Helm the chicken. We might swap things around. I think we are going to turn Sir Conrad into an archer, though. The kite shield, that can go on to somebody else. So with Sir Conrad, we have turned him in the archer. He's got student, which gives him bonus experience, and he's got quick hands, so he can switch between the spear or the bow, or in fact the dagger. I think he's going to be a pretty solid archer once he gets going. The extra kite shield has gone to Darren the Deranged, and what we're going to do, I bought this paint set, which is a bit of a frivolous waste of money, but we had quite a lot. We can add this to the shield and it paints it up in our colours. Now I've not seen this banner before and the shield looks absolutely amazing. Sometimes they have a little bit at the top and the bottom that makes it look rubbish, but I think the boar's head on the shield looks fantastic. I'd like to paint up all of our shields, but like I say, it's a little bit of a waste of money. We're going to save it for now. We've obviously still got all of our stuff for the taxidermist as well, so we need to find one of those. We did have a couple of contracts here. The other one, it was one of the wild goose chase ones, look around in the wilderness for a certain thing. It didn't pay well, it was miles away. I'm not interested, we just told them. I declined the contract, that way it goes away and it will be replaced quicker. This one, however, is just a caravan to Osterstrand, which isn't interesting in the slightest. It only pays 160 crowns, but we're kind of going back that way to get to Erlach. We want to get the terrorised mission from there. We might as well get paid for heading in that direction. It will be night before we get to Erlach anyway. We might as well get some extra money, and then also it applies the well-supplied trait to Osterstrand, which will bring some of the prices down, but it also raises our reputation with the people of Dornan as well. Unless anything happens, we're just going to fast forward straight to Osterstrand. We don't want to watch a wagon moving about. So on the way to Osterstrand, in our wagon, we did have something. It's four choices, although the fourth one, again, no ambition, we're not taking that. We've seen one of the options before, get a cart, I might be going for that one. The other ones, defeat two dozen opponents in battle. We're not really seeing warbands that big, so that might be really difficult. And the third one, our company is ill prepared to fight armoured opponents, train two men as masters of hammer. I don't really like the hammers. I think the only hammer we've seen really is the pick. If we get a military pick, they're lots better, but we haven't had one yet. So we're not going to go for that. I don't really want people mastering into Hammer anyway. So we are going to take the cart, and then we'll fast forward to Osterstrand. And it is morning when we get there. A paltry 160 crowns, but Osterstrand is well supplied. We'll stick our nose in and have a look what's on offer in town, just to have a look if nothing else. Well, we are trying to save our money, but ammo is really low here. Uh, so we're going to buy a couple of that. Tools, they're pretty low. We're out of those. We're definitely going to buy some of them. There's another paint kit. I'm going to buy that. It's 100. That's super cheap. And also the amber is only 215 and it sells for 260. So I'm going to buy all of that. And I think if we can't sell it in Erlach, we'll head back to Dornan and sell it there. There is a contract here and they are suffering from terrifying nightmares. I don't really want to fight the elves again, but we'll have a look at the contract. If it sounds easy, we'll do it before we head up to Erlach to complete their contract. Okay, it doesn't sound easy. End the nightmares haunting Osterstrand. It has to be done at night. It pays really well. It's probably going to be elves again. I don't really want to just hang around waiting for it. We're going to tell him we need more time to think about it. Head up to Erlach, complete their mission, and then we might come back for it. It's a lot of money, and we do need 7,500 to complete our ambition. So of course, it is a short trip to Erlach. We're going to be there in no time. And now we are there. They have got the Disappearing Villagers tag, and I think this contract, it is terrorising the town. So that might be what's causing the disappearing villagers. We're going to accept it and 
think this is going to be a hard one. So back out of town, we have got some footprints. We're going to follow those and see what it is. They are just heading down the road. Ah, it's 11 of the ghoul fellas. That sounds fine by me. They're a lot easier than anything else it could have been. Lots of them. 11. Engage. These fellas are nice and quick, so they are going to be coming in straight away. Of course, our archers are up next. Well, some of them anyway. And we can start picking them off. I think what we want to do, though, is spread the damage. So we've got Wendell in first. 30 or 40. We'll just go for this one. Ah, uh, okay, we hit a different one. Uh, Nervin. 27. 37. Okay, our archers aren't doing the greatest. Sir Conrad, he's our new one. Yeah, we'll go for the big one. No. Uh, Mr. Duck, no. We're going to do a spear wall with Hydric. Because they are going to be coming in. The others without spears are just going to skip their turn. Because they can't really do anything. It does mean Darren... Darren. Donald, the Scot, at the bottom here. He hasn't got a spear, so he's a little bit vulnerable. I'm sure he'll be okay. Serenity and... Where are we? 32. Come on, lads. No gissel hair. Uh, 23. Aim for the middle. No. In they come. Okay, it's still a bit far away at the back. They're waiting. Ah, they are smart. They know spiky things hurt. Okay, that's fine. Just means we'll have to waste a little bit more fatigue. We are going to wait this time, though, because I think they are going to come in. Uh, Wendell in. Shoot that one. Yes. We'll shoot a different one, though. Good hit. Donald Scott waiting. Nervin. Uh, we don't want to kill this one, because if they eat it, it will start recharging them up. Go for the middle. No. Okay. Uh, Heinrich, Spearwall, and wait. Sir Conrad. Go for that one again. He's the biggest and the scariest. Spearwall and wait. Spearwall and wait. Serenity. Same one. So he's getting nice and low. Uh, we don't want to kill this one. Yeah, we'll go for the middle of them again. Good hit. Go for the one on the hill. Oh, it's a low chance. Bit of a waste. Okay, they're coming in. They're not charging. Ah, that one did. We poked him back, though. We kind of want at least one to fail, or else we've got to step in. Or is it worth another round? There we go. There's one in. The rest are not coming in. That one is. And he's failed. Another big one. Okay, you can't get in, so we're skipping. Don't really want to start walking in. I think we're going to wait for them. Of course, Donald the Scot doesn't have to wait. He can just smash that one. Didn't get it, though. Alright, those are waiting, but he can get an attack. Didn't kill it. Of course, the spear wall fails if someone stood next to it. That one's nearly dead. Excellent. Spear wall's holding solid. <laughs> we'll just let them batter themselves up. They are getting a bit damaged now. I think it is time to just run in and start taking one down. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let us... This one is undamaged. Not anymore. That one comes in. Probably wants to eat his buddy. Let's finish him off. Uh, we'll wait because we want to reposition. Darren, you're going to step up. Guard that body and kill this one. Yes, you did. We are going to step in as well because these are running. Thief space, so you're going to step in and clobber that one. Killing it. Excellent. Right. These guys aren't running, but they're kind of protected. It's only a 10%. We're going to take it. We nearly killed that one. This one. Oh, we'll go for the big one again. No good. Okay, we'll just come in here take a hit on that one. Donald, ignore the ones that are running. Although, uh, 
Okay, can we get to there and attack? No. We'll get to there and attack, though. We'll try and kill that one. We did. Spearman. Do you know what? He's too tired. In that case, we're just going to wait there. Archer. This one. Oh, good shooting, Tex. Our last spear. Get him into there. If they run, they're going to take some damage. Another archer. We'll go for that one again, the big one. Killing that one. Another one running. Oh, get it. That means he gets lots bigger. That one's dead from running. Let's get our spear into there. This one, he can't do anything. That one tries to run. Doesn't get very far, though. That one is running. Okay, we'll just leave that one. I think we're going to step in and shoot. This big one is a problem. Darren. Yep, that's a big hit. But that's him done now. And Darren's just been swallowed whole. Right. Okay, Kettleman. You're only going to get one attack. That's fine. Bam. No. Mr. Duck. Big hit. Stepped there. And that's you done. Okay, Hydrant. Take him out. Wearing him down. I think Archer will just move forward. We want to get the one that's running. I don't think he's going to be able to. And Donald, come to here and take a swing. Yep. Uh, spear. And again, one more. Archers, run forward. Now we've got our final spear. Can we take him? Yes. So we did get Darren the Deranged back. Uh, he'll be pleased to hear that. Being eaten can't be much fun. Uh, the other one, I don't think we're going to catch it. So we're going to say it's over. And that means we have got some level ups. So Gissel Hairs leveled up and Edmund. They were quite low. Getting them up, that's a lot better. Let's have a look at the loot as well. So if we did need the horns and the teeth, we have got lots. This can only be a good thing. We really need to find that taxidermist. I forgot to check Osterstrand, actually. I don't think they had one. I'll have a look at the map and see where we need to go for a taxidermist. So they're dead. We take a head back to prove that we've killed them. Going back to Conrad the Elder, we want our money. Back at town, no longer disappearing villagers. Excellent. And more money. 600 crowns. A successful hunt. So we have got no taxidermist here. Shield price is 17, which isn't too bad. I can't really be bothered to go to Dornan. So we're going to sell this here. That's another 900. We have got another painting kit. I forgot to equip the other one. So we're going to buy that. Tools, they're really expensive, but we've not got many. I am going to take one lot. I take both, they're too dear. Um, I think that's it for now. We don't really need anything else. Maybe some more arrows so our archers aren't running out of ammo, but I don't think I can be bothered with that. Let's find a taxidermist. That's the next order of business. So on the zoomed out map, if you hover over a place, it tells you what's there. So Erlach, it's got a Fletcher and a Tavern. Dornan, we know it's got a barber, a tavern, an armourer, and a temple. The other places are a bit small, they haven't really got much. This place, Gerstenfest, we've never been there. There was no taxidermist in these lower lands. So what we're going to do, rather than going back for the nightmares, because it's going to be a long, awkward battle and I just don't want to do it. We're going to head to Gerstenfest, we're going to hope they've got a taxidermist, if not, we're going to continue north. We hadn't even been to Steinforst, and I thought we had. But you know, that's fine. I think, yeah, we're just going to head to Gerstenfest. We'll fast forward. If there's any bad guys, we'll get them on the way. Bristly stranger. So Gerstenfest, it's a walled city. It's got a lot more going on here. It's got a Fletcher, an armorer, a weaponsmith, and a training hall. I don't think we've seen the training hall yet. Let's head in and have a look. So in the training hall, we get three different options. We've got the sparring fight. This gives us 50% extra experience, but only for the next battle. That is the cheapest option as well. We've got 
Veterans lessons, 35%, but for three battles. That seems to be the most expensive. And we've got rigorous schooling. It's only 20%, but we get it for the next five battles. Now, I'm going to double check our team. Our lower level guys, it's going to be cheaper to train them up. So I'm going to flick through and see if there is anyone that really does need this boost. So on our guys, they're all level 3 to 6. I'm not really going to spend money on giving them extra experience. Our lowest level guy, Wolfram, is a coward. He's happy with being in reserve. We'll keep him there for now. The other two guys, yeah, I'm not so bothered about them. We're not going to spend money on training them up. Stamped on our shields though, so I'm going to do that now. I'll paint that one up, and you know what, Donald the Scot, he can have the other one. Yes, not so impressive on a smaller shield, but that's okay. Quite expensive as well, bit frivolous, but do you know what, I think that looks super cool. If we can get another three painting kits, I'm going to do it. Shield price here is 17, so it's no different to selling the amber in the last place. Tools, however, are 239, I'm going to take both of them. We're really burning through those. I'm not going to bother about anything else. The ammo is cheap. We're okay for ammo at the minute. But there was a contract here, and it pays fairly well. Over a thousand crowns. We have to kill marauding greenskins around Strachendorf. That's fairly close by. To complete this, we just have to head there. There'll be one or more warbands come in. We just have to fight them off. Green skins means it's probably going to be orcs, so it's not going to further our undead campaign. But we do need some money. We've still got to get to seven and a half thousand. They're probably going to have some gear to sell as well. We're going to accept this and head to Strakendorf. Strakendorf, just the next town over, so no problem. Bristly stranger. Okay, so we're at Strakendorf, and I can see footprints, and there they are. It is eight marauders. Many young orcs should be an easy fight. We take them on the plane. So young orcs, they can have thrown weapons like javelins. They do rush us. They are the easiest of the orc kind. Fighting them on the plane means our archers can probably get some good shots off as they come in. Okay, orcs, most of them are acting first, but we are going to just wait with our archers, let them all come in. Don't think we're going to need a spear wall. I think they're going to be too far away. That one might be close. I'm not sure. Uh, that's all of them though, so we can start shooting. It is extreme range. 53. Yeah, we'll take that one. Got a hit as well. Excellent. Uh, so Conrad, he's got a shield. This one hasn't. We'll go for the one without a shield. Yeah. We're not doing anything with these. Not doing spear wall, I don't think. No. Catfish, however, you are doing Spearwall, and that'll do for now. But the others, I think they're going to be out. Unless these suddenly come closer. Catman, no. He's closer. Uh, he might be close enough for a charge. He's got a shield as well. That's annoying. 17%. We'll go for the one without the shield. He's not having a good day, him. But this one, 23. Gisselhair can take him. Couple of hits, nothing exciting. Wendelin, 40. Yeah, go for him. Oh, on the shield and hit his mate. <laughs> He's got a pierced windpipe. A crushed windpipe. Okay, the others, I don't think they're charging. We're gonna wait though. We might do a spear wall now and wait. Yeah, they're not coming in. I think they're gonna do a weird charge. So we will wait for them. In they come. He's coming further. Edmund, no wait, I don't think they're going to rush you. Are everybody waiting? Uh, Archer's not waiting, and this one's undamaged, we'll go for him. Wow. Good shooting from Nervin in the woods. Uh, Wendelin takes him out, uh, this one, yeah, oh, he's not having fun. And this one, or this one, same. They're both undamaged, we'll go for that one. No, uh, catfish. Yeah, wait. So are they gonna rush? Yes. Okay, I don't think 
Spearwall would have done anything down here because he is stunned. Ooh, I'm gonna keep shooting at that one though. And this one is close, so we'll hit him. He's coming in. Spearwall protects us. Uh, we can get him with the banner. We're gonna wait with him. Yeah, he holds them back. Darren the deranged. So sort of wax on him. Yeah, Spearwall. Yeah, he's not having fun. He's put his shield up. We are going to wait back with them. Donald the Scot's going to step in and kill him. No, he's not. Okay. Worth a go. Catfish, you wait. They're waiting. All right, well, that's fine. We'll just pepper them with arrows. They don't like that. Uh, this guy can get stabbed. He is running now. We're waiting for them. Archers are not waiting. We'll carry on shooting. We'll go for the one without the shield. Okay. Go. No, we're not going to spear. Do you know what? That's a waste. He's going to run and we'll get a free kill. Archers. Go for the one on the hill. Okay. Not so good. Donald, again, wait. And catfish. Wait. Let them come in. Archer. Bam. Yeah, we've got to hit that time though. Uh, go for the same one. His shield's saving him. Rushing and broke our shield. Now break our painted shields. A couple of stunned guys now. That one ran and died. The top, <laughs> all four of them are stunned. No, I think Kettleman's okay. Actually, he might have just had his going unstunned. Mr. Duck is finished. This one's coming in. Yeah, okay. Donald the Scot, come into here, cleave him, no, nothing, alright. Archers, take some pings, go for the back Mr. Duck can wait, you can just come past, take an attack on him. That same, oh, too far away. Do you know what, you can make it though, let's move him into there. This one's taking a swing. Kettleman. This one well, could hit him in the head. His head is slightly damaged. His body is not. Yeah, let's go for that. Bang! Wow, nearly killed him. Okay, Darren the Derange is going to step up and wait. This guy will go for the one that's nearly dead. Because he is dead. Okay. Only at risk at hitting their guy. Did. He does hit us. Donald, step in and wait. Conrad, go for this one. Yep. No, we can't. So, Serenity. Oh, we could have switched. Never mind. Archers, your work's done. That one runs and dies. Uh, Mr. Duck can't really get in. Okay. Just wait. Darren, come to there, ready for the attack. Can't do anything though. Donald, step in. You can. Bang. Uh, Serenity. Yeah, let, let's just switch to the pitch for. Uh, we can move to here. He can't get an attack, but that's okay. Ready for next time. Gissel hurt. No. Too far away. Okay, let's just attack this one. Step in. Same one. He's running now. We don't need to worry about him if he's running so we'll come to here and take an attack on this one he is also running archers no and this guy just take the attacks yeah he's gone Darren the deranged finishes the job excellent we got a level up in fact we didn't get a level up these level ups were from last time I forgot to do them ah how annoying okay let's have a look at the loot I don't expect too much from orcs a bit of rancid meat and some rubbishy orc weapons. We did get a little bit of ammo. It's going to be a few crowns, if nothing more. So I think these guys were the only ones we had to take out. Yeah, we're all done. Back to Garsenfest. Bristly stranger. We got there just before nightfall, late afternoon. Streckendor no longer has marauding greenskins. Well, we, we didn't really know it did. But that's okay, another thousand crowns in the bank. Lovely. 
Seeing as we're in town, we might as well sell our rubbish. Okay, I've sold the stuff, we didn't get much. It paid for some more ammo, it was really cheap here. We did the level ups as well, Edmund, rather boring, he's not that good. We just took Gifted to give him some extra stats. Gissel Hare is shaping up into a decent archer. He is still traumatised, which, poor fella, we can't blame him really. He got Anticipation, that's for avoiding incoming archers. But a little bit boring really. I did remember to put the shield on our guy now. Yep, yeah, Catfish, he's got one back, a nice green and red one. It fits with the bristly colours if nothing else. But I think that's a good place to leave it for now. We have over 5,000 in the bank. I don't think there's any more contracts here. We're going to head over to the next place. We hadn't visited there yet. We are still looking for our taxidermist though. But like I said, we'll save that for next time. As usual, if you want a name in the game, leave it in the comments. We're on any of the social media places. The links, the links are available on the YouTube homepage. If you have really enjoyed it, I always appreciate those likes. And any words of encouragement, I always love to hear those as well. But for now, I've been the Bristly Stranger. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.